So the review process here includes uh, administrative review to ensure that the application is complete, feasibility review to ensure that the uh, data are available, requested data are available. And uh, we have the our data and sample access committee review, which is an independent committee uh, that provides scientific review and recommendations to the CLSA executive committee. And the uh, CLSA executive committee would ha uh, have the final decision. The review outcomes are approved, uh, include uh, approved uh, minor revision, which would provide the applicant seven days to resubmit, major revision, 21 days to resubmit, and not approved. Here is um, uh, our, data and, uh, our data and sample access committee that currently we have the chair and 15 other members from different uh, academic uh, Canadian institutions, as well as CLSA and CHR representatives. Okay, I will go over in brief or what are the main reasons like why we send back the application. And this is important for you because I mean, uh, if we send back the application, definitely it will delay the process. And uh, if I mean, we can avoid this, that will uh, definitely help in approving more and more applications. So main reasons for manual revisions, uh, usually writing the lay summary in a language that is not suitable for the general public. So we send back the application so they can rewrite the summary. And this is important because we post those summary uh, on our website. So it's important to ensure that they are suitable for the general public. Uh, second reason is selecting a cohort that is, does not include the data needed for the proposed project. So they, like I said before, like selecting the tracking cohort, for example, and the, and the, uh, uh, the project depends on uh, physical assessment, let's say, or whatever, but cohort won't, uh, uh, tracking cohort won't, don't include this information. So we send it back to remove the tracking cohort. Um, Selecting data modules are not described in the proposal. Uh, so uh, yeah, like uh, including uh, can you data or uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, selecting those in the data checklist, but there's no mention about those data in the proposal. So do we either, we send back, they either need to justify their request or they need to remove those data from the data checklist. Um, requesting images, although only images output data are needed, and this is, uh, we send back and it, um, just we, we, need to, we tell them that it's a physical, they're including the physical assessment module and they need to remove uh, the images. So main reasons for major revisions are, uh, and this is 21 days usually, um, research objectives are not clear and concise enough. Uh, the use of requested data is not adequately described and proposed methods are not clearly described. So we provide, uh, we ask them to rewrite those. And we, uh, for rejection, we do reject some of the applications, although few, but mainly due because uh, requested data are not available at the time of submission, uh, or their failure to provide the level of detail sufficient to assess the study feasibility. Or once we send back for requested revisions, they don't apply those requested revisions, so we have to reject it. <laughs> 